And this is one of the easiest yet most effective first steps that you can take to becoming an insanely good creative warrior. What's going on, guys? This is not your ordinary guy. No, no, no. This is your motivation guy. That's right. Your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. You know, patience is everything in this game and in life. Patience is being consistent, you know, going all out, even when you don't see results. And that's the thing, guys. Like, if you don't see results immediately, don't quit. Like all the best pros in the world have been patient to get where they're at. So can continue to grind, continually be faithful, not only in this game, but also in life, and you will see results. After the latest update to Fortnite Season 3, there have been many glitches and bugs added to the game alongside the new changes. These glitches have made it harder to find motivation to play normal Fortnite modes and has once again began another wave of Fortnite creative grinding, especially for controller players. So many players turn to playing creative, you know, 1v1s, box fights, and free building instead of the normal mode arena and pub modes. And with this comes the question, how do these guys like face way do it? Sure, it's one thing to take a look at their clips and gameplay and say, you know, I could just see how they did that one. But it's a completely different thing to actually try and do it yourself. And many people have probably realized that by now. Although seemingly impossible and difficult, it's actually not so much of a challenge. We figured out some of the best tips and tricks to learn this interesting play style as fast as possible. Who wants to do that? Come on now. So you yourself can play and crank out free builds and clips like Faye Sway himself. If you want to learn how to play exactly like the pro players, check out ProGuides.com, where we have the best coaches in the world. If you want to go more in depth and explore all the different aspects of competitive gameplay that you need to know in order to succeed, head on over to ProGuides website and be sure to sign up and start improving rapidly today. All right, guys, Bunch of Crunch Army, it's about that time. I don't know where you guys are at. Here we go. It's time to sit back, relax, and grab some of my favorite candy. What is that, y'all? It's that Bunch of Crunch. Let's get this going. It's no doubt that if you want to improve rapidly, you have to practice. Everybody say practice. Here we go. After all, like practice does make perfect, right? But how do you do this and how often should you do it? Well, to begin, pulling off crazy fast building moves and quick edits aren't done because of good reaction time or speed necessarily. You know, a lot of times they're mainly done through a process known as muscle memory. Yeah. A very small but important portion, it is done through things like reflex and reaction, and we're going to get into that later in this video, but for now, let's take a look at the key element of becoming a godly creative warrior, practice. Any of you out there that have been fans of Face Wave for a long time knows that this man plays the game like it's his life. He spends hours and hours every single day practicing and becoming better at every single thing imaginable. He practices his builds, he practices his edits, he practices his free building. Oh my goodness, I can just keep continually go on. He even practices his competitive skills. He absolutely drills himself every single day to improve, all right? Now, let's be honest. Many of you guys actually spend hours every day playing just creative and practicing your free builds for sole purposes of improving? Probably not. And this is one of the easiest yet most effective first steps that you can take to becoming an insanely good creative warrior. Oh, and uh, some Bunch of Crunch too. <laughs> okay, so first begin by watching some creative warriors like Faye Sway or LD Fortnite and pick and choose some of their favorite building and editing moves that you like. These can be cool combos, you know, nifty building tricks that utilize things such as side jumps, well-timed maneuvers, and sharp edits. And then slow these down and attempt them in a creative lobby by yourself. The moment that you finally are able to hit the move for the first time, you're gonna begin to perfect it. One good example of learning from another creative warrior would be how Faye Sway almost never switches out of his build mode when he gets to edit structures. He almost always remains with his building menu out when performing edits and then switches back to his weapon when it's time to shoot. This eliminates a whole stop of you know switching between build and combat mode every time that you want to make an edit making him more efficient and versatile when switching. But more specifically, make sure that you're watching for their specific building moves and flashy tricks to learn, okay? 
Sure, it may take some time for you to get it right for the first time, you know, but that's where patience comes in. But once you've been doing it, you know, more and more consistently and with time, you're gonna become smoother, you're gonna become better, guys, and you're also gonna become faster. And eventually, you're gonna have mastered that specific move. Now, mastery is essentially being able to do a creative move almost with your eyes closed, all right? This means that your muscle memory has perfectly learned this move and that it's gonna allow you to crank it out whenever you'd like to, really, on command. But of course, it doesn't come so easily. So here are a few tricks to help you guys master these moves faster and more efficiently. Here we go. First, first, make sure that you understand the basic motions of the move. Many times when you're looking at a clip, it seems like it's simple or that there's just a few things that you need to do. When it's in reality, there are a ton of different button clicks, actions, and complex maneuvers that you need to pull off in a short amount of time. So you could just figure out these little tricks you know, by slowing down the footage even further or by putting lots of focus on areas where you tend to make more errors or mess it up. These will usually be where you will have made some kind of a mistake, okay? And once you've worked out all these little issues and you found the correct way to perform these moves, you're gonna begin to see significant improvement, guys, okay? The trick to being such an advanced creative warrior is really to have this level of mastery on a variety of moves and be able to chain them and just use them in the right situations, which will relate to the next part of the video. The reaction time and speed. Here we go. Speed whew, in Fortnite. Oh my goodness. It's key. And many times in creative 1v1s, you're going to find yourself in situations where you're going to need to pull off a fast maneuver in order to save yourself from taking damage. This doesn't actually have to be in creative, too. Like, things like this happen in all kinds of game modes in Fortnite. Oh, there I'm good. Talk. Yep. I took a lot. I took a lot. But what's really tested a lot of times is the speed at which you can just bring to react, you know, certain things happening. This is known as perception time. And then on top of all of that, what your reaction to that thing happening is, meaning that once your opponent has done something unexpected, how long would it take for you to figure out that they may have an advantage or an opportunity to do damage? And what will your reaction to decision to counter this be? Not only do you have to be fast and reactive, but you also need to be smarter and make calculated moves. You can't just crank 90s or just box up in the middle of creative 1v1s where you're going for clips or the win. You need to continue to crank and style in your opponents. So how do you improve this skill set? Here we go. Well, this one is a bit different from the previous one as you actually are gonna need a partner for this one. You're gonna need a friend or really just someone that can just play with you for the next part. In order to train your reaction time and your split second decision making, start by heading into a 1v1 lobby with the friend or opponent and then load up a 1v1 lobby that has quick starts and preferably a reset button to just quickly break down builds. This is gonna help you get back up you know, in 1v1s without wasting any time. Then begin running some 1v1s against your opponent. But don't play smart or just, you know, try to outplay them using mental tricks and piece placement. But instead, try to retake high ground and create angles to shoot your opponent using the building methods and muscle memory that you practice and that you mastered from the previous tip. You know, the more you practice and run 1v1s in ways that force you to have to rely on your mechanics, the better you're going to become at using these building tricks in game, okay? Sure, there are always going to be opportunities to low ground warrior and peak shots or edit plays, but these won't perfect your mechanics and make you creative warriors. Next up, guys, as you build fight and get yourself into tougher situations, you're going to start to get into positions where you're going to have to react fast and build in order to avoid taking damage from opponents. These will come naturally as you need to focus on not only acting in a split second, you know, in order to just block off shots and close off the angle the opponent may have created, but also in a way where you can just chain it to another building move in your arsenal. The skill is one entirely different from what we just discussed, yet they're both critically important to how good of a creative warrior you are. So in order to be good at 1v1ing and just getting cool clips and strong mechanics, you're going to need to be able to be fast and smart. So you have to choose the right moves to use at the right time. But also, you're going to need to be able to do these moves perfectly, cleanly and efficiently. Put these two together and you're gonna start making yourself a creative warrior. Next, we're gonna talk about some important setting info that you're gonna need to keep in mind if you wanna be a good creative warrior as well. Here we go. 
First and foremost, super important, you're gonna to wanna to establish your play style. Are you a fast, you know, fl flicky player, or just one that would rather be smooth and just more thoughtful about every single move? Face Wave, for example, is a very speedy and flicky player, whereas Razor X is a much more smoother player, right? You know, slow paced player who likes to give his gameplay constant movement without any breaks. Take all of these things into account towards yourself and then figure out your play style. Now, once you've chosen between fast and smooth, you're gonna need to fine tune and adjust your settings to that play style. So we mentioned it before that Fortnite is one of the only games where your settings actually matter an incredible amount when it comes to how good of a player you're going to become. And that is because of how diverse the game is, offering so many different ways to play and improve, making different sensitivities more advantageous over the others. As an example, all right, let's say that you like to play smooth and you make your gameplay very satisfying to watch. You're gonna to wanna to make some changes to your settings such as, okay, turning motion blur on and also changing your post-processing time to high if you're on a PC. But besides these graphic you know, changes, you're also gonna to need to change your sensitivity in order to cater to your playstyle. What you're gonna to wanna to do is actually lower your horizontal and vertical sensitivity to the point where you can just constantly turn and aim without having to worry about stopping due to overturning. This is what gives that smooth effect. But on the other hand, you don't wanna make it so slow that you can't even do a 180 and turn around to build behind you. So make sure that you're really playing around with it and just find what's right for you, okay? On the other hand, if you are a fast player, you're gonna want a relatively faster sense so that you can just go from not looking around at all to quickly cranking out 90s in less than a second, yes. And of course, as you know, with the slower sense, you, you don't wanna overdo it so much that you lose control over your sensitivity. Mm -mm. So to sum everything up, you guys first and foremost need to practice and learn, you know, if you wanna become creative warriors, okay? Make cool moves, muscle memory, and just easy for you to crank out. And then practice using them in real game scenarios by 1v1ing and just playing against real opponents. Finally, my friends, perfect your settings and make them exactly what you need for a specific setting, all right? And again, like I said before, you gotta be patient. You gotta be patient, guys. Stop being so hard on yourself. Stop judging yourself. Stop saying that you're a failure. Stop saying that, that you're a bot. Stop referring to yourself um, in negative ways, all right? Just be patient with yourself, and I promise you, man, you're gonna see improvement, not only in this game, but also in life. All right, guys, once again, this is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen, man, here to inspire you guys to aim for greatness no matter what. You're not supposed to be ordinary. You're supposed to be extraordinary, and that's what you're going to be, man. And that's actually what you are right now, but you just have to believe it and make sure to get that bunch of crunch whenever you're trying to play your games, man. Anyways, thank you guys for today's video. We hope you enjoyed it. Comment down below what you guys thought and what you would like to see next because we strive to bring you guys daily quality content. So do us a favor, guys, like by liking the video, subscribe to the channel, and show ProGuys.com some love by using code ProGuys guys in the item shop spread the word we're trying to hit 1 million subs on the channel man we're trying to do some big things man because we know we have a channel that's going to just be such an inspiration and such a blessing man to so many people around the world like you all right we'll see you soon peace